there's got to be nothing more embarrassing than having to retake the scene because one of your wireless microphones had a hissy fit and had a signal drop out. Now I've just found something that may save your bacon. Dual wireless microphones with built-in recorders. The files are recorded to a removable micro SD card. In this video, I'm reviewing the Murfec WE10 Pro, a dual wireless system for your mobile phone or DSLR camera. G'day, my name is Gary, and you're watching the channel that helps simplify the technical skills you need so you can focus on creating inspirational video content. If you enjoy my tutorials and reviews, then please consider subscribing. New to the market, Murfec Audio is the sister company to Gudson Technology. They're known for their innovative high-tech Mosa camera stabilizers and accessories. Murfac have introduced a number of audio products and have sent me their flagship wireless microphone kit at no charge to me for review. I'm keen to find out if it's good value at $249 US and sum up the WE10 pros and cons and especially have a closer look at the unique micro SD feature. Let's have a look at the items you get in what I would rate a really well presented presentation box. Inside the accessories box you're provided with a Murfac branded soft carry case a triple charging cable, a standard connection cable to suit most DSLR cameras or recorders. Also, they've included a four pin cable that suits most mobile phones and some combined headset connections on laptop computers and PCs. Two fluffy windscreens for the transmitters, two plug-in external lav mics with foam windscreens and clips, two transmitters and a receiver. There's a quick start guide to get you up and running and something I haven't seen before, a guide to set up the recommended input settings of a Sony or a Canon camera. Before I get started on the features, if you have any questions about this gear, of course, please type them in the comment section. I'll read them all and respond as soon as I can. I'm placing some links in the description of this video so you can check out the pricing and more details about the Murfec WE10 Pro. First, let's have a look at the receiver's feature set. The receiver that connects to your camera or smartphone has two outputs. One to connect to your audio input of your camera, and the other is a 3.5mm headphone output for monitoring the quality of your audio, and on the same side, there's a power button. On the other side, you've got three toggle buttons. The first is a line level adjustment to vary the gain being sent to your camera, a mute button to silence the audio, and a variable high pass filter to give you the option of eliminating low frequency rumble or noise in the area that you're filming in. Finally, a USB-C charging socket. The display is very clear and easy to read, even for an old guy. I checked it out in direct sunlight and it's still quite readable. The build quality of the receiver and the transmitter is really good. The ABS case materials make them very light. I think it's around 35 grams from what I checked. The clip on the back of the transmitter is not made of metal, but still quite sturdy. Something I like is that Murfac have inserted some rubber on the inside of the clip so it won't slip off easily. On the other side, there is a USB-C charging socket and the micro SD card socket if you want to take advantage of the recording function. The transmitter works without the micro SD card, but you will have to supply your own card of up to 64 gigabytes to make it record. This has got to be one of the simplest function switches I've ever seen. Just an on off switch to start and stop the recording. Now I think that's really cool. On the other side, the supplied lav mic can plug into the 3.5 millimeter jack. The indicator LEDs show charge, line connection stability, and record status. And near the bottom, you've got the little power button switch. Let's have a closer look at the recording feature. Recently, Rode microphones pioneered the way by building into their transmitter an internal recorder. But at present, working with the Rode files is a little bit limited. Murfac Audio have taken it a step further by making the memory card removable. The recorded media can easily be removed from the device and handled in the same way as any files on a memory card. Now both the transmitter and receiver are powered by the internal rechargeable batteries. Murfec specified a 100 minute recharge for the transmitter and 80 minutes for the receiver. Now my tests after cycling the batteries a couple of times were quicker 
60 minutes and 75 minutes for the receiver. Runtime for the transmitter is specified to be five hours, but I was really surprised when it lasted more than eight hours with a lavalier microphone and 10 hours with a line-in signal. The receiver is specified to last eight hours, but in my test it only lasted under six hours. Now, of course, there's a lot of variables in the real world, but I'm confident that these figures are a good average. From the outset of this video, what you've been hearing is the audio from the WE10 Pro transmitter and receiver. Now, I haven't added any filtering. The only thing that I've adjusted is evening out the loudness of the recording. The first test I'd like to do is an audio quality sample using the built-in microphone and then a background noise sample. I'm going to read from a classic movie script and if you can guess the name of the movie, let me know in the comments section. I don't suppose you could speed things up. Well, if you're in such a hurry, you could lower a rope or a tree branch and f or even find something useful to do. Oh, I could do that. I have some rope up here, but I don't think you'd accept my help since I'm only waiting around to kill you. Oh, well that does dampen our relationship. I'll plug in the external lav mic and we'll go again. Okay, so I'll just uh, stop speaking and have a listen to see if there's any background noise. Better than average performance, I thought. And the background noise is very low, quite acceptable. High frequency 2.4 GHz transmitters suffer badly when obstacles get between the transmitter and the receiver. So let's see how the WE10 performs. I've placed the fluffy windscreen over the top of the transmitter and of course taken out the lavalier microphone, even though I've still got it clipped onto me here so I don't lose it. <laughs> uh, and I'm just going to test out the wind noise. There's a fair breeze coming across me now. Um, It'd just be interesting to see how well this little windscreen works. I'll go for a walk with the transmitter. And there's a fair breeze coming across now. Okay, so I'm a fair distance away, walking toward the breeze. I can feel it on my face. Um, obviously that's going to come across if I didn't have the windscreen on. I'm going to remove the windscreen now in this setting so you can hear the difference. Oh, the windscreen's off. You saw how easily that came off, can't you? Okay, so uh, that's without the windscreen and you might hear the wind noise coming over the audio now. So just come out in the breeze a little bit more. You can tell the difference between the two. So there you have a sample of the WE10 Pro out in the open with wind noise, uh, we'll listen to the background noise once we get back into the studio. But particularly, I wanted to hear the difference between the lav mic and the internal mic in this open area. We've got a lot of kids coming past now, so let's enjoy their company. Most of the work that you'll be doing with this type of receiver, unless you're thinking about being a long way off, you may need something a little more powerful. You could hear from the recording that there were a couple of times the receiver lost signal and dropped out. Now what about the pros and cons? The Murfec WE10 Pro is dead easy to set up. The second transmitter is a great backup and can help you capture better audio during an interview. The buttons that control the user variable settings feel really positive. I love the simplicity of the recording function. Simply an on off switch. It gives you total control on the set without having to hook it up to a PC. As I mentioned before, the receiver's status screen is bright and easy to read and adjustments that you make to the settings are clear to see. I love the idea of the constant on status screen, but there may be an improvement in the receiver's battery life if this screen auto dims after a minute or so. There are some negative things that I need to draw attention to. Because this kit is not as powerful as the more expensive units, you'll have to be careful to stay within the range or make a point of using the safety recording for backup. Now, like a couple of the other wireless systems in this price range, the receiver only outputs a mono signal to your camera. 
not one transmitter being sent to the left channel of your camera and the other transmitter being sent to the right channel. It's only mono. Not all is lost with the WE10 Pro. With the quality recording you get on the transmitter's micro SD card, you can import that recording into the editing program and voila, you get separate channel control back again. Now to be fair, there are not many budget priced true two channel receivers on the market. Without trying to be too negative, the supplied fluffy windsock that fits over the top of the transmitter seems to be a bit of an afterthought. You know the feeling when you're trying to put your new camping tent back in the bag? Well, trying to stretch the sock over the top of the transmitter is a bit of an effort. And when you succeed, it can slip off very easily. It may have been better to supply a smaller one to go over the supplied lavalier mics. It's just a couple of things for Murthek Audio to consider for future improvements. The WE10 Pro is priced at $249 US and, and that's in the middle of the market considering similar wireless systems with two transmitters. For example, the Movo WM1 Duo has similar functionality and is only $179, but it doesn't have the recording function and that little status screen that's on the WE10 Pro. On the other end of the market, the Rode Wireless Go 2 with its internal recorders adds up to around $299 and that's without the lav mics, each of which are around $79 each. So that makes it quite expensive when you get the package. So the Murphic WE10 Pro with its unique features is priced well in this competitive market. But if you feel you need to have a true two channel receiver, you'll have to be prepared to spend a lot more money. There are some links in the description if you want to find out the cost of this gear in your country. And if you're interested, I've picked out some other videos that you may like to watch. So click on the link of your choice over here. Please stay safe. Until next time, I'll catch you later.